Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating a Mother's Day card using brand new products from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm starting out by creating the front of the card. I'm going to be doing the front of the card separately and then I'll adhere it to the card base later. So the stamp I'm using today is the Center Cut Flowers background stamp from the Fluttering By Release. And it has the center area that comes out of the large background. So you have a frame of flowers and then you also have the center. So I'm using the center cluster of flowers and I'm going to be stamping it multiple times on this cardstock here so that it creates a little bit of a filled background. So I first prepped the area with an anti-static powder tool and then I stamped it in Versamark ink and then coated the stamped image in alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, which is a nice white embossing powder. I then heat set that with a heat tool and then I was able to move on and stamp this image again using those same exact steps. And I had to do it in sort of stages like this because I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't like leave the Versamark ink on a little bit too long and then it might dry and I couldn't apply the embossing powder. And I also just wanted to make sure that I could clearly see where that image was so that I could stamp as closely as possible. Even though I did stamp these super close, there is a little bit of an awkward empty space kind of right there. Um, a little bit in the corner. So I plan to cover that with the sentiment later. So that actually won't be shown in the final card. So I decided to color this entire card using Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils. And I showed some colored pencil coloring in my last video and I'm still kind of a little bit obsessed with it. So you'll probably see colored pencils uh, for a while here. Um, I, I just love finding new coloring mediums that uh, have a good look to them. And I really love these colored pencils. So I thought I would show you how I colored one of the flowers and then I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and kind of skip ahead. But basically I started by coloring the white in the highlight areas. And then I came in with the medium pink color, like the lighter pink color. And then I darkened it up with that darkest, kind of almost like a muted fuchsia shade. And I did that for all of the flowers that I've stamped. So it's a really large area. I think it'd be really pretty if you also varied the colors of the flowers. Maybe you had pale pink flowers at the top and then have purple flowers near the bottom of the card. I think you definitely could do that. As far as the leaves go, I started with kind of a medium green shade. I then added some darker areas in the corners of the leaf. And then I came in with a very bright yellow green shade. And I just added that to the highlighted areas just to add a little bit of interest and make that leaf glow. So I went ahead and I colored all of the leaves on this entire background, making sure to have the last step be that lighter green. And then I added yellow to the centers of the flowers. I think you could also do a kind of a dark brown. I think that would look really pretty too. Um, I'm not sure what type of flowers these are. I'm just coloring them in colors that I like. So I'm not really making this realistic. I then came in with some white and colored in all the little circle dots that are connecting all those flowers. So now I'm using the Script Mom die. I think that's what it's called. And it has the regular mom a word, which I'm going to cut out of some gold foil cardstock from Altenew. And then it has a shadow die. And I've cut that out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar Right cardstock. And I'm going to adhere these two together and it'll create a nice big greeting area to go on the front of my card. I think I forgot to mention earlier that the flowers were stamped on some Nina Desert Storm 100 pound cardstock, uh, just in case you were wondering. So I adhered that down with some Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive, and I'll just place some acrylic blocks on top to help it dry. I'm now using the Mom Flowers stamp set. This is also from that same release, and I'm gonna take one of the really small greetings. Um, this is actually my calligraphy on this stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it onto some vellum. I'm going to prep that vellum area with an anti-static powder tool, and then I'll coat the stamp in Versamark ink. 
I'm going to stamp this down and be really gentle with the pressure since that is a very delicate image. And also vellum uh, really takes ink well, so you don't need to really press the stamp into the vellum. It has more of a slick surface and it's really easy to get a good impression. So I use some gilded embossing powder from Bruder's Monroe. It's a nice gold shade. And then I heat set that with my heat tool until it was smooth and melted. So I've cut down that vellum strip and I'm folding it around this cardstock piece. I'm going to fold each side and then add some adhesive on those flaps so that it can be adhered to the back of the cardstock. So no adhesive will be shown from the front of the card. This adhesive I'm using today is Tombow Extreme Adhesive. It's super strong, so make sure wherever you place it that it really is where you want it to be because uh, the minute you press that down, it's stuck down forever. So I wrapped that vellum piece around and then I added some foam adhesive to the back of the mom die cut. I'm using a different foam adhesive today. This is from Darice. These are really narrow strips of foam adhesive. And these were sold out at Simon for a really long time. In fact, I couldn't find them anywhere online. I checked multiple sources online and I couldn't find them. And finally, Simon got them back in stock last week. I'm really hoping they are still in stock when this video goes up. But uh, if not, you can click on that notify me link at the Simon store and it will notify you the minute it's back in stock. That's what I did when I wanted to order these. So the minute I got the notification email, I went and ordered, I think I ordered about 10 packs of this foam adhesive uh, since it does sell out quickly. For the card base, I'm using some Nina Classic Crest Solar White. This is the 110 pound version. And I score that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then applied some more Tombow Extreme Adhesive around the edges and a little bit in the center so that I could press this colored piece right on top. This is a really great way to make sure that you have a clean white interior of your card so you have plenty of white space to write a message. Then took a bold jelly roll pen. This is the white pen and it's the number 10. And I used a T-square ruler to aid me while I drew on some dash lines, just to create a border around the top of that card. So that's the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.